What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is Mimo. We have another episode of Crazy Loot Raids here for you guys. We're going to start off with this one from Viren. He is in the clan. And as you can see, there's a whole lot of loot <clears throat> on this base, guys. He is coming in with Barch. He's got a couple wall breakers, his clan castle, and some spells. But I'm sure that he doesn't even have to use his spells to get all of this loot. Um, <laughs> I hope that you guys are having a great holiday season so far, guys. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway um, through Cash for Apps. If you don't know who Cash for Apps is, definitely make sure you check out the description down below. It's a great way to get free iTunes codes. Um, but we're going to go ahead and jump back into this raid, guys. As you can see, he's about to break 300,000 of each of his resources. He's already over 300,000 gold, and there goes the elixir as well, guys. So that is about 600 and 30 or 40,000 total resources, which is good. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. Everybody would love to get that much loot. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward here since there isn't that much loot left, and we're just going to let him crush the bottom of this base um, for the next couple of seconds. But as you can see, it's almost 320,000 of each resource, guys. That is an amazing raid. Good job, Viren, on that one. Let's go ahead and move on to this next one from iRage. This is a little bit uh, less loot, but it's still uh, over 600,000 in resources, um, or at least close to 600,000 in resources. And uh, <laughs> let's be honest, once again, everybody's going to be happy about that kind of raid. So this base has all the elixir on the top and all the gold on the bottom of the base, which is pretty funny because it kind of gives <laughs> an attacker a choice. So like, eh, do I want the gold or do I want the elixir or do I want both? Because if you're just looking for elixir, say, um, then you could attack from the top of that and completely crush it. And again, guys, this is a Town Hall um, 10. I believe I Rage is a Town Hall 10. He could be Town Hall 9. But Town Hall 10 or 9 attacking in Town Hall 9. If this was a Town Hall 7, they would have gotten so much loot from this base. It would have been absurd. And I can almost guarantee that they would have been able to get it all as well because it is so close to the edge. So that was a great attack by I Rage. Um, got... Uh, a little over 500,000 in resources, which is great. That is, that's, that's a good raid. Everybody would like that. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Is this the joke raid? Is this the troll raid? No, guys. All right, so we've got one more raid right here from Ripper um, with a total of almost 800,000 in resources, um, and he does get the majority of it. Now, guys, at the end of this video or this next attack is just a funny clip that I wanted to throw in and show you guys of... Uh, one of my clan mates trolling and trolling successfully. So we'll go ahead and watch this and, we'll, and then we'll jump into that one. But once again, guys, this is kind of a BAM attack strategy with a couple of hog riders thrown into it um, because this guy does have his collectors on the inside of his base throughout. It looks like there's um, four or five collectors in that top left section and then he's got a gold mine as well over on the right side by the Archer Queen. So... Uh, Ripper's definitely got to get into the walls to attack this base. He's got his hog riders up in here, and there go the archers from the top. They are taking out all of that dark elixir for him. This is a great, great find, but obviously it is a little bit more difficult with Barch attacking bases where it's on the inside of the walls. <clears throat> so um, he is going to have to be a little bit more strategic with his placement, but that doesn't mean that he's not going to be able to defeat Greybeard. Greybeard, the pirate clasher. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty cool name, Greybeard. Um, how do you guys spell Grey? G-R-A-Y or G-R-E-Y? That's the real question. <laughs> I always spell it G-R-A-Y, and they're both correct, but they're both just different. Um, <clears throat> so, he's still going through this. Already over 335,000 gold, guys. That is so, I mean, uh, elixir. That is a lot of elixir. He's got that one elixir pump left up at the top. He's going to finish taking that out right there. And then he's got that gold mine towards the bottom that he's got to attack. But he does still have his hog riders as well as his heroes and his clan castle. So he should be able to get in there and get the rest of that gold. Um, so he is going to go ahead and drop off his troops up in the top right right here. The queen one shots that army camp, which is hilarious. Ever since the update, army camps are not uh, that hit point heavy. Uh, so he's going to continue moving on into the base right here. And um, all of his troops are going in. There goes the king um, and the queen as well as the hog riders getting in there to that other gold mine. And that gold mine had so much in it, guys. 330,000 gold, 355,000 
elixir and there's still more left so he's still pushing he's still got his troops heading up in there um there's not that much loot in the area around him because all the storages are on the other side of the base but he is going to continue attacking for the next 10 seconds and uh already got that one star as well so he's going to get that little bit of loot bonus from crystal uh so there we go 345,000 guys and 355,000 next we've got this hilarious troll attack so here's the base and over on the right hand side you can see that he's left all of his skeleton uh, gravestones over there and so this guy uh, the attacker is Babu from Mongol B uh, he's dropped off his troops drawn out the clan castle troops um, now he's going to draw them up here into the top corner which is pretty funny how it goes down uh, so he's just gonna continue pulling them over up into the top corner which is far away from any of the defenses so that he can try his best to get rid of uh, it looks like there might be a witch in there because there are some skeletons in there. Um, <laughs> no, that was from a skeleton trap. There's not a witch in there. So he is going to, we'll go ahead and zoom in here in just a second. You can see he's going to drop all of his troops around the, uh, around all of the troops and try and just take them out in a circle of death. Uh, <laughs> which just looks so funny because they aren't as high level as, um, the clan castle troops so finally he's gonna get them all down there's one more skeleton and then he's gonna head back over here where all the teslas and all the mortars are he's only got a hundred troops left like 110 he's gonna drop off his giants with a heal spell right here and there goes a giant bomb taking out some of the troops and then the mortars are just absolutely destroying these troops even though the giants are there um, and that heal spell, they are all getting absolutely annihilated. So there's only two, or there's only three mortars left. Another one's about to go down, so now he's only got two left. The archers right there just got taken out. And watch this fade away. This is a fade away by this mortar right here in the middle. Um, it's going to be really, really close to getting taken down right here. And then it is going to do a fade away jump shot on this group of archers that comes in. Um, where is it? It didn't already happen, did it? It might have already happened. <laughs> but anyways, that mortar right there is completely crushing all of those barbarians. And watch the health bar on this. Watch the health bar, guys. Look at it. And nope. <laughs> completely annihilated completely trolled get wrecked there goes the last troop guys i hope that y'all enjoyed that i hope y'all are having a great christmas as always make sure you keep calm and clash on me right see you guys later peace